Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review. Groovy? Cool. Alright, so we have one here from Mother Earth Brew Co. And it's called Fresh As It Gets. It's a farm to kettle IPA brewed with fresh strata hops. Canned on 9-20-23. So it's like a couple weeks old. Three weeks old. And uh, it's a 6.7% uh, alcohol by volume. Never had this before. Never seen it before. Nothing. They're from Vista, California. And it won the American Beer Festival Award. So this must be a good one, man. Shoot. And this is what the can looks like. I picked this up at Total Mine and More for like 16 bucks out the door for four pints. Okay. There's some literature there if you want to beer geek out and read it. Oops, if I can get it in the freaking camera, right? There's the award thing. Okay. Groovy. And there's your date right there, man. Nice fresh beer, okay? All right, let's check it out. Nice easy pour. Looks like a Westie. I love these fresh hop beers, the wet hop. I love, it's my favorite. It's my favorite style. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. Well, that does that. Do a little thumbnail action here. Turn the flash. Oh, I can smell it already. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Party foul. Tat. We're good. Add most of it in there. All right, there we go. Oh, I can smell it. Wow, here we got a little bit right there. Okay, we're good. We're good. I think that's the first time I've ever done that. Well, first time for everything, right? You see my lightning fast reflexes there? When it comes to beer, you'd be amazed how fast people can move. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. I'm taking another fucking thumbnail. Excuse my French. Damn, I got to do this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. All right. Um... So, we have a nice, frothy, creamy, silky head. Um, it's pretty tight looking. Yep. We have a pretty clear looking like um, amber color. Like a spot on amber. Last train home. Yeah, it looks pretty clear. It's amber color. Looks like a Westie. It smells good, though. I can smell it already. Okay. Got a little too happy there on the pour. I know. I know it was funny. I know it was funny. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. So, let's check out the aroma. Oh, my God. I do love wet, hot beers. Fresh, wet, hot. Green, green, green. A piney, green, floral. Just fresh, green, like, just yumminess. Right off the freaking vine. That's what it smells like. Pine, floral, right off the vine. Cheers. Ooh. Wow. That's got some IBU. Mother Earth Brew Co. Killed it on this one, man. Good job. Ooh. Good malt backbone, too. Medium mouthfeel. No booziness, of course, at all. Uh, but the hops is just like dank right off the vine. Just wet hop action, Jackson. It tastes really, really good. I love it. Oh, that is dynamite. Got to get this puffy, puff, puffy, puppy, you know, fresh like it is now because that's what it's all about. They got it on the shelves in really good time. It's not even three weeks old. It's banging. It's banging. Oh, man, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Very, very, very tasty. 
get all of that. And I might be getting some more of this. The, the ticket to this one, I think, is get it as fresh as possible. Fresh as possible. Really good, nice kind of bready malt backbone. But the hops definitely are taking over all the malt flavor. But it does have the mouth feel like it has a really good malt backbone. Good lacing on the glass there. Good head retention. It's a really good West Coast style uh, IPA here. <clears throat> so, man, pine, floral, fresh green hops. Uh, I don't know what else to say, man. No booziness, medium mouthfeel. <laughs> awesome beer. Really, really nice. Got a nice sweetness coming off it. But you get that green, just like almost marijuana kind of greenness. Really nice. Really, really, really good. I like it. Got some little bitterness in the back end. Not shitty tasting bitterness like the good kind. Not that generic, just general bitter. It's got like a danky weed kind of green, fresh green dankiness in the back end too. So uh, you know what? I really don't have much else to say about this beer except for it really is a tasty, yummy beer. And I might even be grabbing some more of this. If I do, it's going to be the next one because this one you want to get fresh real quick. So with that said, on a scale of one to five star, two and a half being C average or in, on top of that, do I like it or not? So first of all, let me say, yes, I do like this beer a lot. Okay, but not to discredit, to discredit any other breweries in the, the you know, uh, score process. That's just the way I like to do it, just to kind of give a, the level of goodness that I do like it. Okay, anything over three and a half, I like. Anything under three and a half, I probably don't like. So put it that way. Um, anyways, I'm going to give this five stars. It's a five-star beer. I love this. It's amazing. It's amazing. I'm going to hit one more time, see if I can possibly get something else. But it is awesome. Oh, yeah. This might even get in my top ten. All-time favorite West Coast style beers. This is awesome. Five-star beer all day. Mother Earth, you got one this time. You got one this time. So good job on that, Mother Earth Brew Co. Cheers, everybody. Uh, leave a like. Uh, hit the like. Subscribe. Hit the little bell so you get notified when I you know, upload, which is probably like a million times a day. But you know what I'm saying? Have a great evening. If you see this beer and you're a hophead, you'll love this. Get it fresh, and I guarantee you'll love it. Cheers. Later.